Hey guys, it's Victoria B. I'm back. Back with another video for you guys. Tonight I'll be reading for the sign of Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. If you do not have, if you're not a Virgo Sun sign, please check your Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. There could be some messages in this video for you as well. And also you can reverse the roles, male or female, and switch the story around, vice versa. And please remember, I'm reading for thousands of people here. This is a collective reading here on YouTube for Virgo. And it will not resonate with every Virgo in the universe. So just take what messages resonate and delete the rest, okay? I'm glad you guys are doing well. Um, I'm going natural tonight. I have no makeup on, so I'm just kind of... I've got so much going on that I don't even have to have time to put makeup on. So let's let's burn some Palo Santo incense stick here for protection. Spirit, protect us during this reading. Allow no negative entities to come in and interrupt. Let Virgo get a clear, accurate reading for the messages that they need to hear for their highest good. Okay. Hope you guys are doing good tonight. Hope you're in good spirits. There's been a lot of kind of confusing energy going on. So just remember everything's only temporary. This too shall pass. Okay. So I'm going to be using the earth deck to get some messages for Virgo. Let's put some smoke on this real quick. This is Palo Santo incense. For me, it's easier. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. Okay. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, Ancestors and Spirit Guides of the Highest White Light. Okay. We got one for Virgo. Antsy. Now, these could be for you or your person. We have Antsy. Someone's feeling antsy. What other messages do we have for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node? Any more messages for Virgo, please? We have Euphoric. <laughs> euphoric. Let's get a couple more. What other messages for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node spirit? Okay, we have... Relaxing, exhausted. So somebody's been ex okay. Maybe you've been tired lately, Virgo. You know, maybe you've had to take a little rest. You feel either that's you or your person. Resilient, definitely you. Regret and evolving, evolving. Okay, what's on the bottom of the deck? Conclusions. Okay. So it looks like this is the main energy of these messages. It looks like you could have had some endings here, Virgo. Okay. Let's see what else we got for my Virgos. Virgio. Let me get all my cards straight here, guys. All right. Let's get some tarot. I'm going to have to, I haven't cleaned these cards, so I'm going to have to clean each deck. Just be patient with me, please. All right. Okay, let's do um, past, present, future. Virgo. This reading is for Virgo. No, not yet, guys. This reading is for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Um... What does Virgo need to know about their past? What messages do they need to know about their past, please? Past energy for Virgo and, and the areas of love and romance. Okay. We have the Six of Cups. Okay. This is um, water energy, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Uh, this could mean that um, a past lover is thinking about you or... This is someone you had a past life relationship with or a past life soulmate or a person from your past. They could be heavily thinking about you right now. They may be having thoughts of nostalgia when times were good. 
Things were sweet. Things were lovely between you guys. And that's in the past, so. And on the bottom is the Four of Swords. Yeah, you could be healing from this. This is you healing. This is the Four of Swords. It's kind of like um, you see that person laying there. It's a soldier that maybe came back from a battle, and they're like in a church or a sanctuary. Uh, you may have felt like you went through a battle with this past person. But you're resting now. You're healing. So that's your energy. They're still thinking about you, but you may have moved past this. You may be healing from this. Let me see here. What did I see? Yeah, exhausted. <laughs> and you're relaxing too. See, this is kind of this card. All this matches up. Four swords. That's your energy. You're healing from this past relationship. You could be you could be tired right now. You know, it could be just the overall energy has been kind of strong out there. It's been kind of weird, but to me it has. But Virgo, this could be you. You're you're relaxing. And this is kind of helping you come to a conclusion. Maybe you decide to leave this person in the past right where they belong. All right. But I'm getting whoever this is from your past. Oh, my little monkey fell down. <laughs> so, anyway, this person from your past could be feeling, they could be feeling antsy. I'm getting that that person may be all over the place. They could be uh, regretting something that they did to you. All right. Yep. Pretty soon, things are going to get better, though. I'm healing. You're healing from the past. All right, let's see what else we have here for Virgo. What's about the uh, present moment right now? What are we? What does Virgo need to know for their present moment, for their areas of love? For Virgo and their person. Let's see. Let's do what is um, Virgo's person's energy right now in this moment. What is Virgo's present energy in this moment? Okay. The Hierophant. <laughs> okay. This, this is your person's energy. They could be in a committed relationship. This is Taurus energy. This could mean they're married or they're in some type of commitment right now. Okay. All right. That's their energy. All right, yeah. <laughs> and this is you on the bottom, the Queen of Swords. Yeah, you have you cut them off. Maybe because they could have, what could have happened with the past energy? This is why you're healing from this. This person could have gotten into a commitment with another person. All right, here goes the train as confirmation. They could have gotten in a commitment with you with another person. So you, Queen of Swords, is your energy. You had to cut them off. You had to do this for self-preservation, for your own sanity. Kind of what I'm hearing. All right. What else? What's the future position for Virgo? In the, well, I didn't get your energy. I did get your energy, didn't I? Okay. What is the future position for Virgo and their person? Or what is the future life for Virgo? Oh, God. Look. Seven of Swords and the Empress. Well, we know who the Empress is. You're coming up as an Empress, Virgo. The Empress is um, Libra Taurus energy. It don't really matter the sign, but you are very abundant. You are in, abundant in love and in business ideas. You could be a businesswoman or a businessman. Matters not the sex we're reading. This is the general collective reading. Okay, energy is fluid. So, anyway, what I'm seeing right away, you're the Empress. This person knows it. This person is still in a commitment with somebody else. They're wanting. They're trying to sneak back to you. They're trying to come towards you. Uh, this person is still, if they are trying, which I'm seeing they are, they're regretting what they did, see? They are very much regretting what they did to you in the past. You're, you're healing, you're healing, or you could have already healed from this. This person's antsy, they're nervous, they're trying to come back to you. You may, you may have talked to them recently and you had to cut them off, I don't know, I mean, I'm just kind of making a guess here on that, but... Whether you've communicated with them or not, you've cut them off recently or in the past. Okay, and because they are in a commitment. And this Seven of Swords is, is a liar, you know. This is a liar. This is coming up in the future. They are going to come back. They're going to try to come back to you. Okay. You're an empress. Okay. You're evolving. 
you could be, you could feel really happy. You could feel euphoric. You could have everything going for you because I saw on the bottom of the deck with the Queen of Swords, I saw the Ten of Pentacles. So you could be doing really well for yourself. Be careful of this person. This person is a very smooth talker. They could sell ice to Eskimos. Okay, they, they could they could talk to anybody. They have a really good gift of gab. They may be trying to come back to you only to do the same thing again because they are with somebody else right now. They're still with that person. They're still in a committed relationship. So watch out for this person. This person, they will steal your money and help you look for it. They lie. They cheat. Um, they're very smooth. But what's odd in this card, in the back of this card, there's some people in the far distance watching them. And these could be you or your spirit guides or people, friends of yours. They could be... Someone else, what you can't see, someone else is seeing. It could be uh, your your ancestors or your guides or even hidden helpers on earth are helping you deal with this person. This person is going to try to come back. All right, yeah. Oh, wow. Yep, the chariot. Cancer energy. They're going to they're gonna come in like this. All right. Then they come in like this. They want to move forward. They may want to move in with you. They might not be good where they're at. They might want to just come in just to move in with you. This is not a trustworthy person. You have five of wands. There's still, a, like I said, with that hierophant in the present, in the future, when they try to come back, they're still going to have that. They're still going to have people. It could be more than one. They're going to have more people that you're going to have to compete with. Which I know, Empress, Empress Virgo, you will not. You're not going to compete. We know that, okay? Yeah, you've been through too many battles with this person. Nine of Wands. What I'm getting is you may have went in the future, you may have, this person may come back and try to start some more shit with you, but because you're so strong, you're going to be able to persevere. What did I see that card? Persevere or, where is it? Resilient. Yeah, this is you too. You're resilient. You've been through a lot of battles with this person, whoever they are. Um, we have fire signs, Aries, Leo, Sag, we have Cancer, we have Taurus, and we have um, Libra, uh, Gemini, Libra. Actually, all the signs are on the board. Is there Earth? I don't see any Earth signs. Everything except Earth. But you're the Earth sign. But right now, this is you. You're Queen of Swords. <laughs> so, resilient. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Yeah, and they're watching you like a hawk. Yeah, this person, or they could have other people watching for you, watching you. And from the cards that I'm seeing in the future, they're going to come back because they need money. And they'll bread, or if they do come in and say they want to share or have an equal give and take or reciprocate, you're going to get breadcrumb. They probably did this to you in the past. So, looks like in the future, this is you. Okay? That you're not, either you're going to take them back or you're not going to pay them any mind and walk away emotionally. And then this card here, what you did is you walked, you, you walked away emotionally. You may have walked away physically. You will. Okay, according to the cards, I mean, it's always up to you. But this person, that you could have happened during, and this, this, this card has an eclipse moon on it. It could have happened during an eclipse moon, okay? And could have been recently. Or could have been another eclipse. You know, you, they get, they're they going to get eclipsed out of your life. Something's going to happen, all right? And you could be taking the path of spirit. You may be spiritual or not. Depends on who I'm talking to. And then we have the, yeah, we have the Ace of Wands and the Two of Cups. This is something new coming in for you. You're, you're not going to, this person can try all they want. I don't think you're going to, it looks like you may or may not want to move forward with them. But it looks like this is new energy. A passionate new beginning with the Ace of Wands with the Two of Cups. Two of Cups is a soulmate. This could be a friend coming in or somebody that you that you meet, a new person. All right, when this happens, this is good news. This is something that actually could make you, 
Yeah, conclusions, you're going to end. That's the conclusion. Is this You're going to, according to the cards, you're going to choose to end this. I mean, you know, you can all, you have free will. You can do what you want to do. But this is going to make you happy. Euphoric is like extremely happy, like head in the clouds type happy. You know, like zen happy. Like the happy dance. You're like, woo, okay? And... You're evolving, and maybe the new person that you meet, maybe they are more on your energetic frequency. You know what I'm saying. They are going to be so upset because, look, the tower, this is going to cause this person to have a tower. And they're going to be very upset. They're going to be so sorry they did this to you. See, my, 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 my incense just went on the floor. Let me pause the video. Okay, guys. Anyway, they're going to have a tower. This is going to make them extremely upset. Okay, they know. For right now, that's what's going on. Uh, the reading could change, but right now, for this is what is going on. That's coming up in the future. This person has not changed. All right, looks like a new... Yeah, when you meet this new person, a cycle is going... The world, a new cycle is going to start. It's going to end with whatever you've been going through, and you're going to start a new cycle... And with temperance, okay, hmm, temperance is sometimes reconciliation, but it could also mean that this new person, it could be a divine, a divinely guided relationship. It could be either or. We're going to see. Yep. Because look, this person, four of cups, yeah, they're going to be in regret. Four of cups is kind of regretting, missing an opportunity. They, they're going to know. Yeah, this is a, this could be a Sagittarius coming in for you or not all right sorry okay and regret regret four of cups they're going to be regretting this but what i'm seeing and we got temperance and we got the wheel of fortune wow oh the wheel of fortune in reverse oh shit guys look yeah, this is in reverse. It came out like that. Yep. Wheel of Fortune in reverse. Man, this person is going to... The wheel is not turning for them. Okay? The wheel is definitely not turning. They're going to go through karma. That's karma. Bad luck. Especially the way they're trying to come in. They're, they're not coming in honest... And they may try to pull the same shit as they did before. Excuse my French. But look. They're going to get... The wheel is not turning in their favor. If they do... If this comes true and they do this, they're going to regret it. They may come in like this. They may try, come in and try to steal something from you. I mean, they've already taken enough away from you, as I can see here. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I see it. Look. Oh, my God. you got to be kidding me. Yeah. Oh, God. The Fool. This could be, to me, since it's coming out as the Fool, you're going to be taking a leap of faith with this new person. And the Wheel of Fortune, the, the Wheel, the, the Karmic Wheel is in, not turning for them. Okay? Because you have something divinely guided coming. It could be a divine counterpart. It could be a Ten of Pentacles. And this person here... They're not going to, this is bad luck, bad fortune, nothing going their way. All right. Things may have went their way for way too long and now they're going to pay for it. Sorry to say that, but that's how it is. Anyway, we have the fool. We have the ten of pentacles and the lovers and judgment. Oh, wow. So this, you have a choice between lovers. So they're going to offer you some kind of reconciliation. All right, but this new person is like a ten of pentacles, a soulmate, a counterpart. You know, I'm not putting, I'm not going to be using no twin flame soulmate labels unless the card says that, okay? But you have the, t you could choose the ten of pentacles with this new person, or you could choose judgment. Or, you, you know, it might mean you might have to make a judgment call. But what I'm seeing here with judgment, if you choose this other person... Because the wheel of fortune is in reverse, you are going to have bad luck. 
If you go back with them, you're going to lose your money. You're going to lose everything like you did before. Because when you're with a low vibrational person, you lose your money. Bad luck. This person, this person is not a good person. And bad luck, they probably have bad luck. They have bad energy. So you don't want to... I would suggest going with a new person. Of course, it's always... You know, it's... Yeah, this person, if they hurt you with the Five of Cups. Okay, but there's two cups behind here. And look at this. You're going to have it because of this... This is a new person coming in to offer you a passionate new... That's a new beginning. Yeah, and they want to collaborate or work with you. And here's the Eight of Pentacles. They want to work with you. It could be someone you work with or they might want to come in and they might want to be business partners. You know, it could be it could be a new beginning in a career also or both. Six of Wands is going to be very victorious for you. You're going to come out the winner. Um... Nine of Swords. They are going to be so upset. This person. This 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 person. They're going to try to reconcile with you. But we got the will. If you reconcile with them. We got the will of fortune in reverse and judgment. That person is getting heavy karma. And as long as you're with that person. You'll be suffering right along with them. Sorry to be so blunt. But this is how it is. Alright. Look at this. The new person. Look at this. These two cards came right out together. The King and Queen of Cups. These, this is a counterpart coming in. Alright, this is a counter. They, they came out together. I've never seen them come straight out together like that. These are two, and this person could be an empath like you. Wow. Mm -hmm. And we have the Devil. Okay, this is a it could be a Capricorn coming in for you, or with this Ace of Wands here and this Two of Cups, the Devil, the Ace of Wands, and the Two of Cups can mean whoever this is is going to be a very passionate relationship. Um, the Devil's not always bad. It could be Capricorn, or it could mean that, like I said, passionate, a very passionate relationship. You guys may be just alike. Because this you're coming out like this. Okay. Mm-hmm. Wow. Okay, who is um mm -hmm. wow. All right. Seven of Pentacles. It's gonna happen in divine timing when spirit decides. It is divinely guided. Let me see. Why is the devil here? I need to I need to check that. Why is the devil here though? I just want to make sure. For my king and queen of cups, why is the why is the devil here? Why is the devil here, spirit? Why is the devil here? The king of swords. Mm. Okay, there's going to be... I, could, I, I already see what's going to happen. The king of swords is another person. That could mean That's your past person. It can't... They're going to be right in the middle trying to interfere... The devil's going to try to interfere in this new connection. That's exactly what your old person could be. a um, King of Swords energy. It don't matter the size. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. But they could be very cold and detached. So, scratch what I just said. This is somebody that's going to come in and get in your relationship. Or, we also have the King and Queen of Swords here. Okay? It could mean that the person that they're involved with is a devil. The karmic could be a devil because we have two couples, the king and queen of swords and the king and queen of cups so far. All right. And it could change here in a minute. So just bear with me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, here it is. That king of, king of swords is a third party. They can come in between your relationship with a hermit card, Virgo. That means, you know... That's what the hermit is trying to tell you. He's shining his light on that king of swords and the devil. All right. Let me see. Fifth dimension card just fell on the floor with my mystic moon oracle. So you could be, this is a new person. You could be talking to them in the 5D in the spirit realm. You could have, be communicating with them right there, but it don't look like you're with them. This is someone new. Okay, let me see. Get one on my, and the king and queen of swords mean, could, can mean that you and this person, this new person, 
are not together, obviously. It could mean you it could mean that you might already know them. They could be a friend and you're not you're separated. And the King and Queen of Swords can also be business people. And I saw that that new beginning and the, the eight of pentacles and the three of pentacles. It could mean that you're um gonna you might be in a you might work with them or you might be in a work relationship first, something like that, okay? We got fifth dimension. That's your that's you and this new person. This other person is going to try to interfere, whoever this is, man or woman, it's king of swords and the devil, okay? What else from, what do we need to for, know for my king and queen of cups, please, for Virgo? King, queen of cups for Virgo. Just came out in reverse. Conclusions in reverse. Oh, shit. We got this twice. Conclusions in reverse. I hardly ever see these Mystic Moon come out in reverse. Plus, we have a card that says conclusions. Let me find that bad boy. Let's see. Here it is. Look at this. Conclusions. And conclusions in reverse. Endings. We have this Wheel of Fortune in reverse. And judgment. This is this king of swords and the devil. This is your past person. They're going through karma right now. They don't want you to... I'm here and they do not want you to be with anybody new. They don't even want you to be happy. They're cold. Cold as ice. Okay? And that queen of swords could be who they're with. That could be another scenario. But anyway, we have conclusions in reverse and conclusions upright, which came up first. Like I said... This was supposed to this supposed to end. The cycle is supposed to end with this with this past person. But this person is gonna try to block it. See conclusions in reverse. They don't want it to end. Mm-hmm. All right. Nostalgia. They're thinking about you. The six of cups that came out. Yeah, it's a past person. What else? Anything else? King and Queen of Cups. This is yep. Metamorphosis. Yep. Death. This is like the death card. All right. Your person could be going through a major transformation. When this tower hits this past person, they're going to go through a major transformation. And you have, you're going to have a choice between lovers. You're going to have a choice between the past person and the new person. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you learn. This person's going to learn a lot of lessons from, from you. Yep. They're stuck where they're at. But they want you to be stuck too is what I'm hearing. Mm -hmm. And you're thinking about this. Contemplation. Looks like you're ready to, you know, you're ready for a change. They want you to forgive them. It would be a good idea to forgive them for you. But they have a lot of karma attached to them with a wheel of fortune in reverse and judgment. Okay. Vibrations. Your vibrations are too high for them is what I'm hearing. Tower. There it is again. It's going to cause them numbing the devil. Yeah, this person, this king of swords has an addiction with the devil. They could be, you know, a drug addict or alcoholic and or a sex addict. You know, I don't mean to be so mean, but you know how I am. Fall. We're in fall right now. So be careful. And this, I got this fifth dimension card is, sitting, is, is on the floor. But I'm kind of limited on space right now where I'm reading. So, <laughs> receive. They're receiving. You guys are talking. You and this uh, you and this, past per this new person are talking telepathically. And also, observer. There could be a karmic. Their karmic could be observing. They could be, you know, this too. And divine timing. So, you could get with this new person in divine timing. Union. I'm getting this person that you're dealing with now was like a false twin flame. You're going to have a you're going to have a soulmate or they could have been your twin and you're going to have a soulmate coming in the future that's more on your energetic frequency and you're going to have a union. That's good. Yeah. Yeah. Oh hell, Virgo. Compromise. Yeah, it could be a past person. They want you to compromise, but get this. Look, we got soulmate. So, and ascending. Oh. 
you see I'm sorry guys my lighting is not so great right right now because of where I'm reading ascending mm -hmm. the answer is yes and balancing the scales this is karmic justice and it looks like yes yeah, solitude that's a hermit card that's you you know you've been showed up in here twice now as the hermit okay it looks like to me the past person has a lot of karma attached to them they did a lot to you but it looks like to me with a union and a soulmate you're gonna have a union with a soulmate this other person i think was a twin or a false twin i don't know i'm not trying to determine because this i'm reading for thousands of people here so you guys tell me you're going to have a union with a soulmate not a twin flame and this is this new person's two of cups and it's a um you're the queen of cups so it's like a king of cups energy or it depends you know whichever role you play divine feminine or divine masculine whichever role you play it could be you know either sex so king and and king and queen of cups are the um are you guys that's a new person coming in and it's going to going to be some karmic justice for you and judgment and bad luck for them sorry but that's what i am seeing all right okay Let's see let's get hmm let's see what else is going on I'm going to get some past life cards and then some life purpose cards and make it a little bit make it a little more interesting try to get some more details okay this is my, my Palo Santo just went out hmm unusual there it is. Let me get my lighter, guys. Okay, clear the energy. Alright, so we have... I'm going to pull some past life cards here for you. Alright. Let me see. Stop. 